So I knew a little bit about uh, Memphrey. I've, I've known people who have claimed to have seen Memphrey. Um, I've never seen it myself. Uh, I've seen pictures, I've seen the videos, and it's like, there's something happening in the water. My name is Ross Murray. I'm the writer and director of Bride of Memphrey, which is the upcoming show for the Borderline Players, opening August 18th. And the play is set on the shores of Lake Nefermagog, specifically at Blueberry Point, which is just on the near the border of, uh, on the Ogden side of the border with Quebec and Vermont. And uh, the, it begins with a, uh, a young couple getting married on the shores, a little informal wedding on the, on the shores of the lake with their parents and uh, some local color sitting on the beach. And uh, all of a sudden, a uh, man comes out of the water claims he's had an encounter with Memphrey, the legendary lake creature of Lake Memphremagog, and uh, which is shocking in itself, but then he gets down on his knees and he proposes to the bride. And he does so, he says, because he wants to save the world. So subsequently there are certain revelations about why he thinks this, and in doing so, uh, he reveals all kinds of different secrets in, in the players' lives. Uh, couple's lives and their parents and um, really it's, it comes down to um, what we believe, why we believe certain things. If you believe one thing, why don't you believe in another thing? So where is that dividing line between what you believe and what you have faith in? There's a story in the play about uh, Billy Connor who was an actual swimmer. He was the first man to swim from Newport to, to Magog and along the way he had an encounter with uh, a lake creature, he says. He, this came out years later. Uh, he gave a document, uh, he documented his sighting to Jacques Boisbert, who was a, a lake diver from, from uh, Magog. Um, and he, his, do, his account, his, he swore by it. I like the idea of um, local audiences seeing themselves or their stories or their histories on stage. Uh, I think it's just compelling for them to, to hear their stories told, and it's it's entertaining for them as well. Um, <clears throat> the uh, other thing I like about not necessarily writing about history, but local myths, is that they're not necessarily you're not bound by facts so much as you were would be if you were writing like something that was documented and historical. So I can use that story of the legend as a, as a jumping off point, as the foundation for the story, but I can make it my own and, uh, uh, in, and build on it. Um, so really, in, with The Bride of Memphrey, it the, um, the impetus for the story is the sighting of Memphrey, but it's really a lot about, it's about the characters and, and their interactions. So it's, um, really an opportunity for good storytelling that has its grounding in, in a story that or a legend that people might be familiar with. Bride of Memphrey opens August 18th and runs uh, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the Sunday matinee, and the following weekend as well at the Haskell Opera House in Derby Line, Vermont, in Stansted, Quebec.